Netherlands, the land of total football where every individual contributed equally to the team's cause. But in cricket, their journey to World Cup qualification has been about individuals rising to the occasion. In their qualification match against West Indies, Logan van Beek did almost everything except maybe umpiring. Chasing 375, Netherlands needed 47 in the last three overs to win. Van Beek smashed a 14-ball 28 to take the game into a Super Over. Then he turned up with the bat and smashed 30 runs in the Super Over. And just when you thought he couldn't do more, he bowled the Super Over for Netherlands, taking two wickets and winning them the match. Against Scotland, it was Bastille Leader who did it all. His five-wicket haul meant Netherlands needed to chase down 278 within 44 overs to qualify for the World Cup. If that effort wasn't enough, he decided to turn up with bat as well, scoring 123 of 92 balls. Netherlands chased the target down successfully in 42.5 overs. So that's what they did to get here. But now, what are they like to face? If you're a bowler, all the best getting wickets against this Dutch side in the power play. They rank second when it comes to runs per wicket in overs 1 to 10, only behind India. When you look at opening pairs that have added the most runs since the 2019 World Cup, Max O'Dowd and Vikram Jeet Singh from Netherlands rank third. But there's one big issue. The Dutch can't stomach spin. That has to rank second in major issues to have when touring India, with not being able to stomach spicy food taking first spot. The other issue is that they struggle to control overs 11-40 to 40 with the ball in hand. There's no team that will feature in this World Cup that has been as bad as the Dutch in the last four years in overs 11-40. to 40. All right, but remember how we told you about individuals rising to the occasion? So first, there's Logan van Beek, whose exploits you now already know about. Among active Dutch players, van Beek is the leading wicket-taker with 34 wickets in 25 ODIs. Then, of course, there's that man past the leader. In the seven World Cup qualifier matches he played, he scored 285 runs and took 15 wickets. In fact, he became only the fourth player to come up with a 100 and a Pfeiffer in the same men's ODI. And finally, there's Max O'Dowd. Post the 2019 World Cup, the opener averages 74 in the power play phase. That's the fifth best among players featuring at this World Cup. So, can this Dutch team cause an upset or two? Well, that depends on which individual decides to rise to the occasion.